how to take profits while swing trading in the crypto winter let's talk about it it's your boy so guys tv millie i'm back with another one so to be told i never wanted to play that role a heart of gold was tainted by every friend of foe i'm making known i always wanted to reach this mode what's undisclosed my kind nature won't be opposed i gotta go get out the way or become the road a stepping stone my ten toes will be a home i'm on a road no way that i could back down now heavy is the head that wears the crown one. So today we'll be discussing a crypto strategy for taking profits with the volatile nature of the crypto market. It's important that you have a plan when to take profits. People who don't plan plan to fail in this video. We'll be talking about a simple yet effective strategy that you can use to maximize your gains while minimizing your risk. And remember, this is not financial advice. This is just what Millie does. All right. Step one, first and foremost, determine your profit target. The first step in this strategy is to determine your profit target. This is the percentage gain that you're aiming to achieve before you take profits. For example, if you're investing 100 bucks in a cryptocurrency that's currently priced at $1 and your profit target is 100%, then you'll sell your investment when it reaches $2. This ensures that you lock in your profits and avoid any potential losses due to the market fluctuations. Step two using trailing stop orders. Now, not a lot of people know about this. But when I discovered it, it actually saved me from losing money. A trailing stop order is an order that's placed with a broker to sell a security if it drops by a certain percentage from the highest price. This means that if the price of your investment starts to fall, your broker will automatically sell it to prevent any further losses. For example, let's say you brought a cryptocurrency at $10 with the hundred dollars and it's currently trading at twenty dollars you set your profit target at a hundred percent which we've discussed which means you're selling your investment when it reaches 20 bucks however you're using a trailing stop order at 10 percent this means that if the price of the cryptocurrency drops to 18 dollars your broker will automatically sell it locking in a profit of 80 percent eight dollars per coin with your hundred bucks so family of course we don't all have brokers so you got to pretty much do this manually which is very very simple once you calculate you know what i'm saying your goals when you're actually invested into cryptocurrency like okay so if i buy a cryptocurrency at, at 10 bucks okay and my goal for it to go is is for it to go at 20 bucks and it goes all the way to 18 family, but you didn't take your profits and then it falls back down to 12 bucks. What that trailing stop our order will do is it would stop at 12 bucks and immediately take the profits so you don't lose your money all right, or your initial investment. The third step is to take partial profits. This means that instead of selling all of your investment at once, you sell a portion of it and hold on to the rest. For example, if you invested $1,000 into a cryptocurrency, it reaches your profit target of 100%. You can sell $500 worth of it and hold on to the remaining 500. This allows you to lock in some profits while still having exposure to potential future gains and that goes for even selling your cryptocurrency let's say you get in a gym and you you know you like you know well i need to take some profits or, or take some risk off the table instead of just selling the whole cryptocurrency how about you just sell 75 percent and keep the other 25 percent in case it does run again or starts to pump so you want to keep that in mind again not financial advice these are some of the things that i personally learned in my crypto journey the fourth and final step is to reinvest your profits once you've taken your profits you can reinvest them into other cryptocurrencies or assets this allows you to continue 
growing your portfolio and maximizing your gains. I don't know if you guys seen my last video when I talked about some of my uh, swing trading strategies, how I use the um, profits from my micro caps and small caps to reinvest into my blue chip portfolio. So for instance, we took a little profits from check dot and we used a little of those profits to reinvest into Hedera. just an example taking some of those micro cap profits and reinvesting them into your long-term holds which you have the most conviction over so hopefully you guys understood this trading strategy this is a swing trading strategy now of course it's not the best i don't aim to say that i'm just an expert at swing trading but these are some of the things that have helped me over time with minimizing my risk and learning how to take profits especially in a crypto winter you got to understand family we are in a macro environment and an environment that's full of quantitative tightening so remember liquidity is being taken out the space especially the traditional market and we got to be aware of the macro all right so make sure that you like and subscribe let me know in the comments some of your swing trading um techniques that you use i love to know you guys opinions engage with the video and if you like this type of content again hit that notification bell and keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneur inside the algorithms it's your boy soap guys tv millie and i'll see you in the next one